Hey, what's up you guys? Today I am excited because I'm going to talk to you about one of my favourite YA series that I think is so underrated on BookTube. I actually just reread it and I tweeted about it saying it was underrated and a lot of people liked my tweet and I decided I was going to make a video talking about it to kind of encourage you to read it if you have not. And that is the Renegades trilogy by Marissa Meyer. So obviously she is most famously known for the Lunar Chronicles, but I think the Renegades is far superior. I've only read Cinder, but that was her debut novel, and I think you can tell it's a debut, whereas Renegades is like so polished, so good. I'm going to talk to you about why you need to read it. I'm going to talk about the basic plot of the books, what it's about, why I love the characters, and I'm going to give a non-spoiler kind of, not summary, but just some ideas of what I love about each of the three books in the series. And it's going to be completely non-spoiler, so don't worry about that. The three books in the series are Renegades, I have this UK edition so it doesn't match the others so I do apologise, and then Arch Enemies which I love this cover and then my favourite of the, all the covers is Supernova which was the finale and I'm pretty sure these were released 2017, 2018 and 2019 so they're not like super old or anything and I just think they're so good. So if you enjoy this video and I encourage you to read Renegades please let me know in the comments and definitely please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing and let's just get started because I have so much to talk about. So a kind of overview of the series as a whole, this is a superhero fantasy series. So in this world, lots of people have superpowers and after a decade it was known as the Age of Anarchy, where the villains, which are the main group is called the Anarchists, kind of controlled the world. The Renegades, that are the group of superheroes, banded together and fought back and now they are in control and they are seen as like the heroes of the world and all of the non-superhero people, not all the people that don't have superpowers basically don't do any work, like they just let the Renegades do everything for them and the Anarchists, there's only a few of them left at this point because most of them were either killed during the final battle or put in prison and Nova is one of these Anarchists, she is young, she was just a small child during the Age of Anarchy but now she's a teenager and she has a secret identity. Her supervillain name is Nightmare. Then we have Adrian and he is a renegade. He is the son of the two, well two of the leaders of the renegades. There's like a group of them and he also has a secret identity because he is not only Sketch which is his renegade name but he is also the vigilante known as the Sentinel who the renegades don't like and the villains don't like so he's kind of a lone ranger in the story. During a fight, Nightmare says something that makes Adrian, who is as the sentinel at this point, believe that she knows who killed his mother and he then becomes determined to track her down. Meanwhile though, Nova and the anarchists have this plan for Nova to go into and infiltrate the renegades and have this whole plan to destroy them from the inside out. The anarchists want the renegades gone because they believe that they are basically a dictatorship in this world because they put themselves in power, they're choosing the power, they choose which um, prodigies, which is the people that have superpowers, like which ones are good, which ones are bad, it's all up to the renegades and the anarchists don't want this. And they actually obviously are villains, but in a lot of ways they aren't villains in that they just want to cause chaos. They actually have like a mission and that is to just free the world of the renegades being dictators because the renegades, in their opinion, think that they are perfect and that is kind of the struggle. So Nova actually does end up joining the renegades and then she ends up joining Adrian's team and as you know, as, as I've said, Adrian as the Sentinel and Nova as Nightmare are like mortal enemies at this point, or not mortal enemies but you know what I mean, they're a nemesis and Nova ends up joining Adrian's team and they actually start a little bit of a romance so then the whole series is you like so anxious and so scared to find out when they're going to discover each other's secrets. And I think Marissa Meyer perfectly balances the superhero and supervillain plot with the romance. The romance is definitely like a part of the story but it is a very slow burn and it's very natural which I think makes it even better. It's very believable um, that these two would fall in love just because of the way they act around each other and they're so nice to each other and just who they are as characters. Absolutely love them, I'm going to talk about the characters in a minute. So all of the different loose ends, this is one of my favourite things about this series. I think that the loose ends that she kind of establishes at the start of the series by the end of the series and book three she ties them all together so perfectly like there is just so many amazing reveals and shocks and little twists and I think that she is just like so talented in the way that she manages to pull all three books together. So because it's a world where all of our main characters have superpowers they are obviously so unique and so interesting I think that 
Everyone is so distinct from each other, obviously, not just because of their powers, but also their personalities. All the characters are so memorable, and Adrian and Nova are the main characters. Also, what I love is, I love superhero and supervillain origin stories, and you get some of that in here, and they're so interesting. I just think that they are always, like, so cool, and, you know, movies, and I don't really read comics, but in comic stories as well, like, just, like, origin stories and how people get their powers is, like, so creative. And then also what is cool about the series is that there's a lot of different representations. So Adrian is black and his dads, he is adopted by two gay dads and it's never like a big deal or anything, just as a thing. And then Nova is half Italian, half Filipino. So I just think that's pretty cool because I feel like, I mean, half Italian, half Filipino is not something that you're going to see often. And even Filipino or I guess Italian as well, like, but especially Filipino, I don't really see Filipino main characters ever. So I just think that all the characters are so interesting and so creative and just like full of personality. So one of my favourite things about Renegades book one is just the tension whenever there is a chance that Nova's secret identity can be discovered once she has joined the Renegades undercover because they come in contact with different villains that maybe don't realise that Nova is undercover as a renegade and they're looking at her and they're like I know you but I know you as Nightmare so like why are you with them and it's just so tense and it always causes so much anxiety for me but it's so fun and I absolutely love it. Nova as well is also just stuck between her two identities because she doesn't really know what to do because she wants to destroy the renegades overall and she doesn't agree with the way the renegades do things but once she's inside their, um, their organization and has infiltrated them, she knows that there are a lot of people that are just trying to do good and although the Renegades as a whole, their organisation is not good for the world, there is people in the Renegades trying to do good and trying to just make the world a better place and although she is a villain, she doesn't want innocent people to ever be hurt, she just has like this one single track plan to destroy the Renegades and that makes her kind of not as villainous as some of the other villains and they definitely pick up on this. The other villains say to her like, you're getting soft, like the renegades are getting into you, like you need to pick a side and all this. And I think it's so well done, just the way that Marissa Meyer establishes this grey area between the villains and the renegades and neither side is completely good or completely bad. The renegades have their bad side and the villains have their bad side but they also both have a point in the mission that they are trying to do. And also, the end of this book just has so many like perfect cliffhangers that, if, like I've said, Marissa Meyer ties them all up so perfectly together. And once you finish book one, you're just going to want to jump into book two straight away. Book two, Arch Enemies, really is where Nova and Adrian's flirting starts to heat up. In this book, you see them have the typical doubts of like whether they actually like each other or whether the other one actually likes them. And it doesn't ever stray completely into like a romance like YA book territory, it's very much a subplot that is connected to the main plot because at the main plot, well one of the main plots, <laughs> the Sentinel and Nightmare who are Nova and Adrian's other identities, their rivalry is heating up so at the same time as the romance between Nova and Adrian is getting more intense, the rivalry between their secret identities is getting more intense and they just want to destroy each other, they hate each other so much. And what is also really good about this book is that it really highlights that the anarchists do have a point in wanting to destroy the renegades and the renegades are not actually always the good guys because in this book a uh, weapon is introduced known as Agent N that the renegades have created to take away the powers of any prodigy that they think is abusing their powers and obviously this is rife for any renegade to really abuse and take away the powers of anyone they disagree with so that is like a big moral dilemma that's in this book. The tension in this book is unreal, also with the secret identities and by the end of it, Nova and Adrian's secret identities hate each other more than ever, they are literally on a mission, like nothing matters to them other than to destroy each other, especially Adrian and Nova, towards Nova and ugh, just like the double crossing and you are on the edge of your seat because you know that Nova cannot keep up the charade any longer, like her days and the renegades are so numbered and it is so tense and so like anxiety ridden but I just absolutely love it. And then in book three, Supernova, I really can't talk about this book that much at all without going into spoilers but again the tension while you wait for them to discover each other's secret identities is ridiculous like it actually makes me so anxious reading it because there's so many points where it's like okay this is when it's going to happen and then they maybe get away with it for a little bit longer and it is so tense and it feels like there's going to be no happy ending you're like when they discover each other's secrets how can they ever get out of this situation and it is just so good. Marissa Meyer also in this book really makes the point that 
The Renegades and the Anarchists, they both have their good points and their bad points. There's nothing in the world that is completely black and white or good and evil. Like everyone sees the world through their own lens based on the things that they have experienced. And she really just hits on that there is no good and bad. There, like everyone deserves a chance to explain themselves and everyone needs to contribute to making the world a better place. I absolutely love this. Also, the action scenes in this are impeccable and is exactly what you would expect from a superhero finale. This is just one of my favourite, like, third books in a trilogy ever. I think it is so well written and just everything that you want from a trilogy, just everything, especially from a superhero trilogy, it is all just comes together so perfectly. So hopefully I have encouraged you to give Renegades a chance. I promise you will not regret it. It has everything you want. It has so much action. It has romance. It has amazing friends, amazing characters. Like there are so many side characters that I didn't talk about that are just so cool. Like all of the superheroes, all their powers, like everything is just so fun. This is just such a fun series. And I reread all three books in the space of six days. It took me two days each to read and they were all five stars. Just like the first time I read them, they were all five stars then as well. So they have held, held up over like two years or a year and a half since I first read them. Like I just absolutely still love the series and I really hope you would give it a chance. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Definitely comment any thoughts you have on Renegade if you've read it or if you have not read it and I've encouraged you to read it, please um, talk about it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in my next video.